little hygiene is not such a bad thing. As a start, decent haircut, you know, certain amount of cleanliness. That's a good thing. What's rule one in the first book? Stand up straight with your shoulders back. That's a good thing to do. You know, what do women look for? Depends on the wisdom of the woman, obviously. Well, it does because, you know, you can, narcissists can fool naive women. That's why narcissists propagate, by the way. And we know this because narcissistic psychopaths, young women are more likely to fall for narcissistic psychopaths. And the reason for that is they can't tell them from competent men. Because narcissistic psychopaths imitate competence. And that's their niche. And so they have a confidence that isn't justified by their ability. But the women check out the confidence as a marker of ability, and the falsely confident can fool them, especially if they're young and naive. So let's say you're not going to be a narcissistic psychopath, which is often what those manosphere dating sites teach you. It's like, you know, wear an expensive watch and peacock a bit. And to peacock is to wear something, some item of clothing that's, you know, a little bit out of the ordinary, something a little bit more colorful than might be generally the case so that you look like you're confident enough to pull that off with panache. But mostly it's just, it's just training in a kind of deceptive narcissism. A wallflower guy might benefit from some training in, in narcissistic psychopathy, you know, just to sort of balance them out a bit. So you can make some progress forward. That's why people like Andrew Tate are so popular. Generally what women want is something like confident, productive generosity, fundamentally. And so, you know, and physical attractiveness and a sense of humor and, you know, the, the sorts of features that a man would also look for in a woman so much the better but cross-culturally women like men who are about four years older than them and the reason for that is you know women are more vulnerable on the sexual front and they have to make themselves even more vulnerable if they have children especially when the children are infants and so they're looking for guys who are competent enough to be able to take care of themselves at least and then have enough left over for a wife and a dependent child you know how I know that? It's because women are female humans. And so if you were a woman, you'd be just like a woman. So, because that's, that's what a woman is, right? So you can't blame women. It's like, clue in there, buddy. If all women don't like you, it's you. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's so annoying. It's especially if you're young because most women aren't gonna like you. And so, and it is you. So you have to grow up and, but then, you know, you gotta understand that if you make yourself competent and productive and generous and a little bit socially skilled and reasonably clean, eventually, you know, you'll fool someone and then, <laughs> and then, you know, might take a few years, but, but generally it happens, so. So that's the thing is don't, you know, don't, don't be a fool. Turn yourself into someone who's worth being around and, and then develop enough social skills so you advertise yourself genuinely. Because you know, it's not also useful if you're a man to be competent, productive and generous and then so timid and socially unskilled that no one can tell. That's also not helpful. Engineers do that all the time. Engineers are the only men who never figured out how to turn social status into mating opportunities. <laughs> That's such a funny line. It's also true. So, yeah, so look, if you're young, if you're a young guy, it's like straighten yourself up, you know? Don't be eating, you know, Cheetos in the basement, covering yourself with orange dust and being bitter about women. It's like go out there and <laughs> make yourself useful in some dimension or rather and, you know, fortify yourself a bit and have some confidence and then figure out how to present yourself in a manner commensurate with that. And, you know, get out there in the world so people can see you now and then and, you know, some poor woman will be desperate enough to give you a shot at some point. <laughs>